guys what's going on we are back with a pillow update and it's actually an update more about the status of pillows new friend we have actively begun our search for a buddy for pillow um yes or budette budette <laughs> that's a weird word that's not a word it just it's a reason that's not a word it sounds awful Anyway, yesterday we went up to Omar's Exotic Birds where we've gone a few times to get toys and food and knickknacks and stuff like that for Pillow. And they have lots of awesome, awesome birds there. It's an awesome store. If you are, and we are in no way affiliated with Omar's Birds, but this is just a super awesome place. If you're in the LA area, it's on Wilshire on the west side. Go check it out if you're into birds. It's a super cool store. Um, there's just birds everywhere. weren't a ton of birds there when we were there yesterday because they said because of the time of year in the winter time um, there's just fewer birds due to lack of resources they don't lay as many eggs in the winter time so we began just checking out some of the birds we just kind of wanted to see what was out there and what our options are They had lorikeets, which we heard from, we overheard the, the woman in the store talking to another family saying that lorikeets were not a good idea to get if you have other birds around because they are very territorial and they- They're awesome though, but yeah, they, they wouldn't probably mix well with pillows. With pill no, right. I, I, the woman was saying they, they've been known to attack cats and other things that have, you know, that, that in, invade their space. So definitely lorikeets are out, right. um, but we were just, you know, petting some other birds and looking at other birds and trying to figure out what our best course of action is for a friend for pillow. So we are actively pursuing that now. Hopefully sometime in the next couple of weeks, we'll have made a decision and we can get the new bird. We have the cage, obviously, if you've seen that video. And so we're just waiting to fill it. Right. And when we move pillow's new brother or sister, into the household. Um, obviously, there'll need to be a period of quarantine and we'll yes. need to keep them separate, at least for the time being, while they acclimate to each other and hopefully become best buddies. Right. Which or buddettes. <laughs> so we'll only have one of them out of the cage at a time. And so hopefully they'll have a lot of time to be in the same space without actually having contact with one another. So when the time comes that they do have contact with one another, it won't be super weird. <laughs> Let's be like, oh, that's that bird that's been hanging around here for a while. Right. So while we were at Omar's, we actually picked up some new toys for Pillow because in recent weeks he has been demolishing his toys. There's one in particular he has just shredded to pieces. Plus it's always good to rotate toys in and out yes. so that they don't get bored, but Pillow doesn't seem to be bored with his toys regardless, but it's always <laughs> good to just sort of bring new stuff in. Well, we normally switch the toys out before they get shredded, but he's just been particularly destructive with his toys in the last couple weeks. I don't know, like every time we look in the cage, there's just more like shreddings and <laughs> pieces of things on the floor of the cage that- I do it in the middle of the night, I just don't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so we picked up some new toys for Pillow. And it's funny because Brendan actually picked out the toys and there was one little wooden block that he particularly wanted because it had a bug on it. And if any of you are familiar with Brendan, you know he loves bugs and insects and creepy crawlies. And so he specifically picked this block because it had a bug because he said he wanted Pillow to like bugs too. <laughs> so hopefully that will become Pillow's new favorite toy. So Pillow can just play with his new toys while he waits for his new friend to arrive. So it's just a quick update of where we're at with Pillow and hopefully it won't be a long process to choose a new friend. Obviously we're not gonna choose a giant macaw or anything. I was voting for a macaw. No, <laughs> we're gonna stuff a macaw into that, into that little cage we have. No, I mean, we're clearly limited in, in the type of bird that we can get that's gonna fit you know comfortably in our new cage and in our apartment. And that'll be compatible with uh, a budget. Right, so. So we're narrowing it down. So just keep an eye out for future videos, hopefully in the very near future, and we will have Pillow's new friend here. Yay! <laughs> so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully with a new bird. <laughs>